guess what? We got two great families here ready to battle it out for a whole lot of cash and a shot at winning that brand new car. Uh -huh. Let's get it on. Give me Micah, give me Melton, let's go. All right, guys, here we go. We surveyed 100 people. We got the top five answers on the board. Try to get the most popular answer, okay? Pay attention, here we go, let's go. Name the American city you think has the rudest people. Michael? New York City. New York City. <laughs> New York! Well, you get to control it, pass or play. We're gonna play. They're gonna play, Melton. Get over there and get ready. Toby, how you doing? I'm doing great. What do you do for a living? Nothing. <laughs> perfectly no. cool. Please, no, I'm shooting for that. <laughs> well, tell me something. Name the American city you think has the rudest people. I'm gonna go with uh, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> L.A., I've lived there, some real people there. L.A. Yeah! Daniel, okay, what do you think? Uh, let's go with uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> Especially the football fans. Philly! Yeah! yeah. Did, you, did you have a bad experience up there? Never been there. Never been there, okay. Hey, Lord. From experience, growing up in South Florida, Miami. Miami. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. I don't know. Miami. Mark, what do you think, man? Name an American city you think has the rudest people. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Good answer. Wow. Boston! One strike. We're looking for America's rudest city. Come on, Michael, what do you got? Oakland, California. Oakland? You're talking about the Raiders. I'm talking about the Raiders. <laughs> man, they're tough, man. There's only one answer left on the board. Let's see if it's up there. Oakland. Uh oh, we've got two strikes, Toby. Hey, Howard family, they got two strikes. Get ready. You can have a chance here. Washington, D.C. Wow. <laughs> You know what? I don't know if it's up there, but I got to tell you. Well, I've had some moments in that town. Washington, D.C. OK, let's get it down here. Melton, I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing almost the same thing. Chicago. Chicago, the windy city. Chicago! Chicago. Let's get it on. Let's go to question number two. Give me Toby, give me Brandy. Let's go. Here we go. We've uh, surveyed 100 people. We've got the top five answers on the board. Try to get the most popular answer. Name someone a man would be shocked to see pop out of a cake at his bachelor party. Brandy. His wife, yes. Oh. Your wife pop out the bachelor cake. <laughs> this is a horrible thing. There's one answer that can top that. What do you think it is, Toby? I would say. <laughs> That's okay. You get control of it, Brandon. We're gonna play. We're gonna They're play. gonna play, Toby. <laughs> Yvonne, how you doing? How are you? What do you think? Name someone a man would be shocked to see pop out of a cake at his best. Apartment. His mother. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> yeah. Robert, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. What do you do? Well, I'm a transportation supervisor and little yellow buses and the big buses all over town. Hey, that's amazing. You're that's better right. than me, because I, I, I'm not the guy for that job. OK, I'll remember that. Sit down back! <laughs> I'll remember that. Well, I'm thinking his sister. Yeah. Wow. And if you knew my sisters, this, this cannot happen. My sister's 75, and she's saved. OK, all right. She pop out of a cake. We're all going to hell. Your sister!
How you doing? How you doing, man? What do you do? I'm a bouncer at night, and I work at computers during the day. <laughs> a bouncer at night? Yeah. Hey, you, you, you meet a lot of girls, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that. Hey, give me a, uh, somebody that a man would be shocked to see pop out of the I'm going to say his country. boss. His boss? <laughs> <laughs> his boss! <laughs> oh, we got two strikes. Big Daddy, the boss head man, Melton Sr., you gotta save the day. You got two strikes. His daddy. His daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Your daddy coming out the cake. Brandy, yeah. you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, give it to me. His child. <laughs> <laughs> Your child. Oh, whole family. Okay, I'm only hearing one answer. Micah, <laughs> name someone a man would be shocked to see pop out of a cake at his bachelor party. I would be shocked if I saw my grandmother <laughs> jump out of that birthday cake. <laughs> I, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> My grandmother. Oh. Let's look at what we got left. Show us number three. X, Y, Z. Number five. A select. Hey, the Howard family jumps out to an early lead. 140, the Poe family scored this yet. Doesn't matter, anybody's game, don't worry about it. Remember, the goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back with more feud right after this, y'all. Uh-huh.